Today we're going through the best Blender add-ons. We'll start with the best free add-ons, then dive into the best paid add-ons. This video is sponsored by Datacamp. Today we're going to be looking at what I consider to be the essential add-on list for Blender. I use all these myself and some of them I use on every single project. I'm going to start with the free add-ons, which most of these are free, but then after that I'm going to cover paid add-ons towards the end of the video. Let's get started. Collection Manager. This isn't the flashiest add-on, but it's one of the most useful add-ons. This gives you an easy to use pop-up menu that allows you to organize your outliner collections from anywhere in Blender. It's a bit easier to use and ship things around and then the outline itself. Loop Tools. This gives you a bunch of tools in edit mode to easily edit edge loops. Most importantly, it gives you this circle tool that lets you convert an edge loop into a circle with the click of a button. I use this one constantly. Extra objects. This adds a bunch of extra objects to the add menu. There's one for mesh and one for curves. I personally use the quadrosphere option quite a bit and the spirals in the curve section. Node Wrangler. I'm surprised this one isn't just enabled by default. This gives you a bunch of shortcuts to make using nodes easier. For example, pressing Ctrl T on an image will give you a full image mapping setup. Pressing Ctrl Shift T will allow you to import a PBR texture setup ready to go. There's much more which you can view in the documentation. Images to planes. This add-on allows you to import images as planes. Bygen. This is an amazing tool by Curtis Holt which has a bunch of crazy cool generative modeling presets which you can apply to your models. I can't believe this is free but definitely check it out. It's really great for abstract or sci-fi renders or motion graphics. Blender GIS or Blender GIS, this mapping tool allows you to import mapping data to generate cities. It's a great way to quickly create a detailed map of any city. Bool tool. This tool is super handy for using booleans. The default workflow is a bit slow and requires a lot of clicks and modifiers where this adds a lot of shortcuts to speed up the entire process, doing a lot of those steps for you. IVGen generates, you guessed it, city buildings. No, I'm just kidding, it's, it's actually Ivy. But I use this in my castle scene and it utilizes particles and can slow down a scene quickly if you're trying to generate realistic Ivy. So just be a bit mindful of the settings, but it's an incredibly cool add-on that'll automatically generate Ivy up whatever kind of object you select. Discombobulator. The discombobulator is a great tool for adding Greeble to your objects. If you don't know what Greeble is, it's those little doodads and nonsense details you see on things like giant sci-fi spaceships and Star Wars to add detail and interest. Rigify. Rigify allows you to position preset armatures onto your characters and then automatically attach and create controls. If you're using any character within the presets, I highly recommend skipping the rigging process yourself and just utilizing this tool. It has humanoid presets, facial features, and some other presets as well, such as four like legged quadrupeds, so dogs and things like that. From the creators of Hard Ops, this tool makes it easier to kit bash and comes loaded with a bunch of great free assets. You can also add your own. Magic UV. This added several basic UV functions to the UV editor, and this is a great for complex UV unwraps, and especially if you're doing characters. Before we continue, have you ever considered writing your own add-ons? Then you should definitely check out this sponsor. Datacamp is an online learning platform that makes it easy to build data skills while learning at your own pace. They have hundreds of courses of all different skill levels covering data fundamentals. They have an introduction to Python, which is the language used to write Blender add-ons and scripts. I'm taking this course now to help me write quick little executional scripts to save time in Blender on my drivers, rigs, and other tasks. They have a bunch of other classes as well, but if you want to stick to Python and Blender, they have quite a few options. I'm planning on taking the intermediate course next. If you're like me and you've never done this before, then you'll actually find this guided feature pretty useful. I found this a great way to learn for people like me who have zero experience in this type of thing. Invest in yourself, use my link in the description, and check out the first chapter of any course for free. Moving on to paid add-ons. None of these paid add-ons are sponsored, however, some are affiliate links, which I will label in the description below. Let's dive into it. Node Preview. I love this add-on. It gives you a little preview thumbnail of what your texture is. This is extremely useful for creating generative content, for example, when I made my polka dot generator. Hard Ops, the most popular tool in Blender. This tool adds an incredible array of hard surface modeling tools. So good in fact, I have friends who work at PlayStation and Epic Game Studios that have told me this is a standard in their hard surface modeling pipeline, making this some of the best hard surface modeling tools in the entire industry. Retopoflow. It's another great industry tool. This series of tools makes retopologizing much less tedious with tools that almost work like magic. It's a must for anyone who regularly retopo... Repita... What a... Retopo... Retopo... Retop... Retopologizes their models in Blender. I wish that was a joke, but that really happened while recording. I'm sorry you had to hear that. 
Auto Rig Pro. Auto Rig Pro is more like a robust version of Rigify. They have this amazing auto rig feature that lets you place markers on your character and it will build the armature based on these points. It has a lot of options and allows you to customize the rigs. It also has some more simpler options, making it great for beginner animators who don't need or want such a complicated rig. They also have an add-on that lets you create your own rigging presets, which is pretty awesome. Botanic. This is a go-to add-on for adding nature assets to your scene. It comes with so many and makes it super easy to add them into your project. This is great for environments, arc viz, and much more. Definitely check this one out if you're struggling to fill a scene, especially in the environment. They have some other great add-ons for cars, materials, and water too in the similar vein, all making it easy for you to include these assets in your scene. I'll link those below as well. Pro Lighting. I love this add-on. So many renders suffer from poor lighting. This add-on comes jam-packed with a bunch of preset lighting setups which you can easily add to any object or scene by just clicking the object and applying. You can then rotate it and adjust the brightness. Even if you're good at lighting, this is great to decide on a scene direction, and that's how I use it a lot. Instead of preset lighting setups, check out this add-on which contains preset camera motions taken from real-life film scenes. It has an empty to focus on your subject and then plenty of preset camera moves. If you're struggling to find a camera setup, try out this add-on. Or, just like the lighting, if you're just looking for inspiration, it's still a great tool for that as well. I like to kind of toss it in scenes and get an idea of what might work with that particular shot or animation. UV squares. This add-on helps convert UV islands into clean grids. For example, if you wanted to add a label to a pop can. This seems like it wouldn't be used all that much, but you'd be surprised how often it comes in handy. This tool is amazing for two features. One, it helps you scatter your images. If you don't know what that means, it makes a tileable texture and makes it more randomized to help prevent a repeatable pattern from occurring. But it also has an option to use triplanar projection mapping, which allows you to project the texture onto an object from three different angles. Why does this matter? Because if you're lazy, it will solve most bad UV layouts and let you lazy smart unwrap almost any object to apply PBR textures to, which is great for scene assets you don't want to spend a ton of time unwrapping. If you're a fan of Ducky 3D, you'll like this next add-on. It's the Material Builder Suite add-on. It's a package of custom group nodes that will greatly speed up your material creation workflow in Blender 3D's Cycles rendering engine. Highly recommend checking this out if you're interested in creating materials yourself, but simplifying the process. I also recommend checking out the real-time materials add-on. This gives you a bunch of real-time materials that you can add quickly right here in the add menu. And the great thing about this is all these are intended for real-time rendering, meaning that they render very quickly. True Time Remapping in Blender is a really cool add-on. This allows you to have a simpler interface for time remapping and it allows you to insert keyframes as well. So if you've ever had an animation and thought that maybe you just wanted to hold the jump a little bit longer, but you didn't want to adjust the hundreds of keyframes to get it to look correct, you can kind of use this add-on and kind of cheat by inserting a couple keyframes. If you've ever used After Effects, it's a very similar interface to how the time remapping works in that program. Last but not least, maybe my most used add-on is the Fit Lattice add-on. I use this in my projects all the time and adds an operator to automatically set up and fit a lattice to the selected object. It's super useful for quick resizing or kind of exaggerating proportions or fixing areas of your model. I use this all the time in my stylized work when I kind of create a character or an animal or something like that. I'm not happy with the proportions. I kind of use this to kind of fix those and get the final proportions I want or just to mess around. As usual, thank you for watching. I'm always excited to see what you create from these videos. Please tag me at Southern Jotty. Let me know if you checked out any of these add-ons because of this video.